Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave and if you're new to the channel, welcome. In honor of Avengers Affinity War, today we're looking at the Hot Wheels Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Milano. Now this particular version of the ship was first seen in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Now the Milano is a modified M ship, captained by Peter Quill, better known as Star-Lord. Now I'm not gonna lie, I love the Milano and all the other M ships that we see captained by the other Ravagers. These ships are very impressive. As you can tell, there's tons of winds and parts hanging off. The actual models in the film that we see are CG and have tons of moving parts, winds, engines. It's just amazing. So once I found out Hot Wheels made one, I had to jump on it and I'm glad I did it. It is a beautiful little model. Now for its exact length, it's two and a half inches long and about three and one quarter inches wide. So it's a nice size little ship. So we do have a lot to cover. We're going to look at the mold, paint, put on a stain, compare it to some other ships and then we'll be done. So let's get moving. Okay, kicking the review off, looking at the mold, I gotta say this is a fantastic piece here. Tons of winds. Oh man, look at that profile. Pieces that hang off and some great detailing. Now, like always, I'll go over the main points and then zoom in for all that detail. So on the front here, we have our cockpit, guns, which you can't really see, but they are here. Coming around to the back, we have our ramp and observation bubble, main engine right here. We have engines hanging off the sides, and there should be engines on the winds. And then for the bottom of the vessel, we have tons of copyright crap on both winds on both sides. Two rivets, a connector port for the stand. Just tons of detail on here. So that's basically everything for the ship. So let's get a closer look. Alright, getting nice and close up, we can see some amazing details in the front of the vessel. Some lines and paneling, hidden under the paint as well. And then moving up, we can see some great designs here. It's all recessed in the back. A little hard to make out with the uh, die-cast chrome, but it's not too bad. Little engine right here. And then we have our winds, which are greatly detailed. You can see some nice lines, little ridges there. And that's the same for this side engine and then the winds for the underneath again some great designs on here lines and curves I like that a lot I actually like the bottom here I think that came out great with the little tiny lines right there above my finger and the front nicely done with the curves pretty sick and we have our rivet Again, copyright crap on the winds. But you can see there's detail on the winds right in front. So that's pretty sharp. Same for this side. Pretty cool. Coming down. Look at all that. I love the shapes here. Fantastic stuff. Let me turn it. We have our finely detailed engines and winds. Pretty sharp. Plastic ones. Again, nice. Now you can't see it, but we do have the ramp with all the windows back here. Engine right there above my finger. But you can see it's like a little circle. Coming up, we can see some great details on these winds with the engines and these winds right here. Fantastic stuff. And then we're back to the top. And you can see a little better how it's recessed in. Nice lines and paneling. Just amazing. It's such a beautiful ship. So that basically does it for the mold. So now let's take a look at that paint. All right, when it comes to the paint of the Milano, we have dark gray for the cockpit windows. A beautiful orange on all the winds. Little dabs here and in the front. And then we also have a nice metallic blue. And again, that's all over the top of the craft. And a little bit on the bottom. Now also we have silver. And that's for the Milano right here, the name. We have chrome metal, which I kind of dig it. It's pretty cool. And then finally, we have a metallic purplish gray plastic for all the winds in the back, engines, and so forth. Pretty nice. I think the colors on here 
are spot on. I, I like it a lot. So now that we're done with the mold and the paint, let's put this bad boy in the stand, compare it to some ships, and then we'll be done. Now, believe it or not, it does come with a cool stand that says Guardians of the Galaxy. All you gotta do is peg it in the port like so, and you're good to go. Alright, for a little size comparison, at the moment, Hot Wheels does not make any other Marvel vehicles that I know about except for the character cars, and if you know that they do, let me know in the comments below. But just for fun, next to it I have Anakin Skywalker's Jedi Starfighter and Han Speeder, both from Hot Wheels also. And that does it today for my review of the Marvel's Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 Milano. Again, this ship was first seen in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, and for its length, it's 2.5 inches long and 3 and one quarter inches wide. Now, I really, really love the Milano. Actually, I love all the M ships. I think their designs are very cool. And the neat thing is, they're not just solid vessels. These ships, including this one, have all these winds and flaps and engines that all move as the ship goes through space or atmosphere. And I love that. The engineering on these is beautiful. I like it so much that I even went out and bought the Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2 and the Infinity War version of the Milano from Lego. And uh, those are some great ships. And if you guys are interested in Legos, let me know in the comments below. Maybe one day I could uh, review all those sets I got. But anywho, as much as I love the design in the film and the Legos in this, why is this particular Hot Wheels ship awesome first of all i love the detail as we saw everything's there from the winds the flaps the panels the cockpit the engines everything's there and i love it paint wise we don't have tons of it but what we have counts we got the blue the orange that grayish purple plastic and to be honest even though some people may not like the raw die cast metal that we see on here i dig it i think it looks cool and also, I love that they gave us a cool stand. Now, they could have just gave us a little peg or no stand at all. But no, they went the extra distance and put the Guardian logo on it. And that is awesome. Now, if you're looking to buy these, I've seen these in a lot of places, especially Walmarts, Targets. Now, roughly, these could go for anywhere from three to four and change. Might be a little pricey, but come on, that is a nice ship. Now, I recommend this ship for anybody who's a fan of the MCU, the Guardians of the Galaxy, or the ship design in general. The thing is a beautiful piece of art. So that's everything I have to say about the Milano today. I hope you enjoyed my review. If you did, hit that like button. And if you'd like to see new reviews every Thursday, subscribe. Again, thank you so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you next time. Bye, everybody.